Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on a telegram channel called Before Our Time. Please check the description to know more about the channel. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Model of the Moon at the Museum of Natural History, 1894 Speaking of the Moon, scientists say that the craters on it are from meteorites. But here's the strange thing. They vary in diameter. From small to huge, but the depth plus or minus is the same. It's like there's a metal skeleton inside. It's strange, don't you think? After all, if the meteorite is larger, it means more powerful, and the depth of the crater should be several times greater than from small. But look at some of them, the diameter is large, but there is no depth. And why are they all vertical? Where are the stones that went tangentially? So many questions. Ring from private collection. This ring has long been in the private collection of the Dukes of Marlborough. Imagine how many artifacts lie quietly in the custody. It is believed to be the ring of the Roman Emperor Caligula and to be at least 2000 years old. That's about it. The most interesting thing is the processing. Sapphire is very hard and working with it is a troublesome business. It is impossible to reproduce such a thing without high precision optics of high tech tools. In previous posts, I talk about unique jewelry. And such a ring is not the merit of just one talented craftsman who has dedicated his life to this endeavor. It takes industry and industry to make it. Let me remind you, the ring is at least 2000 years old. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update and watch to the end to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Ciudad Perdida, Colombia. It is a ruined ancient city in the Sierra Nevada that, according to legend, was founded in 800 BC. The local Arauco, Kogi, and Arcerio tribes, who discovered the town long before its discovery by the authorities, claimed to believe that their ancestors, the bearers of the Tyrone culture, had inhabited it. They kept the city secret in order to avoid its capture by the local authorities. In 1975 the town was discovered by the local authorities. To do so, they had to sneak through the jungle and climb a staircase of 1,200 steps. The archaeological findings are past all expectations. Gold figurines, ceramic urns, and a hundred agricultural terraces are only a small part of what was found. But since the city is located on a steep mountain rise, and the road to it is more than 50 kilometers, for a long time the city of Ciudad Perdida was unguarded. It was not until 2005 that it became a safe place for guided tours. ancient conquerors of heaven. The story began in 1875, when in one of the ancient Indian temples, was discovered a treatise called Vamanika Shastra, written in the Brahmanical language, Sanskrit. It was not its age, it was written 2400 years ago, that made this document famous, but its content. The author of the manuscript, the scholar Bharadwaja Maharishi, described the types of flying machines and their construction. 
and with the caveat that it was a compilation from older sources. At the end of the 19th century, this book was considered mythological, because aviation was still in its infancy. But modern scientists, having studied the Manica Shastra, have unequivocally declared that this work has no relation to fairy tales, it is competently written technical work. The trouble is that the names of some metals and liquids necessary for lifting flying machines still cannot be translated. The underground city of an unknown civilization. The city of Pyunara in Turkey has long troubled archaeologists. This ancient city was built thousands of years ago directly in the rock, even the exact time of its construction remains a mystery today. But the most interesting and exciting for scientists lies in the reasons for its desolation. For a long time it was strong and rich, and then it was abruptly disappeared from the annals. When the city was first discovered, archaeologists thought it was just a city for the dead. However, studies of the passages and catacombs yielded nothing. It was empty. No traces of humans were found. By the way, on the island of Burano in Italy, there are doors as big as St. Isaac's Cathedral. The handles, which were higher than human height, have been removed, and in their place now are ridiculous plugs. One can understand why the handles on such doors are removed, it would be impossible to reach the current person, and there would be too many unnecessary questions about their use and traces of use. Brahma's Empire Many have proven that there were advanced civilizations in India. Archaeologists find objects as proof of the existence of great empires. Remains of ancient cities have been preserved in India, along with writings and other artifacts that contain riddles. It is known that empires existed during the existence of Atlantis. Interestingly, the priests competed with the rulers of the sunken empire in ruling the whole world. In the Indian epics, it is described that the ancient people used air transport. Their vehicles could move both in the air and underwater. Cities have disappeared, as well as accurate evidence of their scientific discoveries. There is a theory that the empires were destroyed by nuclear weapons, because high levels of residual radiation are found on the artifacts found. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.